I guess I'd better write something today. Another boring day passes in this room. I'm not feeling well today. Probably don't have much time left from the looks of things. It's weird. No, not only have I gotten used to hospital life, but even the thought of dying no longer scares me. That's how things are. I guess. Can't exactly change this reading of mine, can I? At any rate, no matter how boring it gets around here, Sienna's always there to brighten my day. I feel so blessed to have such an happy fan of my fantasy stories. And yet, I feel so sorry for her. Life doesn't grant Sienna the pleasure of eyesight, so she's never truly known the real world. At least I know what exactly I can do to help. Hello? You in there? It's Sienna. May I come in? Oh, there you are, Sienna. I hope you didn't come here all by yourself. Does the nurse know you're here? You know it's dangerous to wander the hallways alone. Don't worry, I'm fine. But what about you? Are you ready again? I didn't mean to interrupt, but I just really wanted to continue yesterday's story. Yeah, it was just a little journal entry, but I'm all done for today. Great! Does that mean you have time to continue the story? Of course. Now, where did we leave off? Ah, right. The traveling little girl. So, what happens next? Where does the little girl end up this time? This time, she finds herself within the darkest of worlds. Here, all the light and color has run away. Sounds like a sad place. I bet she can't see anything at all. Just like me. Don't worry. The little girl always finds her way, doesn't she? This time around, she will capture the lost light and color. Wow, that's so cool. How does she do that? After looking around, she finds it. A shining point of light right in front of her. It's a light that left the world. Grabbing quickly, she tosses the light up into the sky. Now, what does the world look like? Since the light has returned, the little girl cannot see the world for what it is. She sees a vast kingdom surrounded by limitless natural beauty. However, everything is still gray, because the colors don't miss it from the world. But I'm sure the girl can get the colors back, can't she? Yes, she definitely can. Now, in front of the little girl, there stretches a wide lake with shiny waves crashing upon the shore. She decides that this is where she will begin. Wow, a lake with shiny waves. I can hear it and feel it so well. Dancing waves, drops of water kissing my face. That's right. Now the little girl tries to capture the color of the water. And once she does, she can return into the lake. What color is the lake now? The lake now is a deep blue. It's a color that makes you feel calm and refreshed. I think I can feel it. Yes, blue is a peaceful color. Seeing that smile on your face? I think you've got the right idea. And then, what happens? Alright, next, there's a huge field of flowers. The little girl looks down and finds a yellow light 
fluttering around her feet. Pick it up! Pick it up! The girl picks up the collar, and with a touch, it returns to the field. Yay! How do the flowers look now? Oh, simply dazzling. Their soft yellow glows like the rays of sunshine at dawn. Sunshine. So, they're like the sun. I know the sun. It's very warm, and and it makes me happy. I feel the warmth when I walk with the nurses in the garden. That's right. Now listen carefully. Did you hear that, Rosalind? It's a wind blowing across a flower field. Yes, yes, the rustling. Sha, sha. The flowers wave together in the wind, moving softly like a giant puffy marshmallow. A marshmallow. How sweet! Now, the little girl is going to add color to the trees. She sees greens and brown lights flying around her. Those are the colors of the trees. Green and brown? What does those feel like? Green tastes like a chocolate mint ice cream. Brown, like cinnamon rolls. It really is something else, isn't it? The rough feeling you touch a tree. Yeah. So, has everything returned to normal now? That's right. Color has finally returned to the world, filling the girl with an indescribable happiness. She grows tired and sits in the shade of an enormous tree. There, she falls asleep to the sound of waves and the fragrance of flowers. Amazing! I wonder what it'd be like to see such wonderful things. One day you will know. I promise. <coughs> Are you all right? Don't worry. I'm fine. I just need some rest. <coughs> okay. Can you promise to continue the story tomorrow? Yes, for sure. But now it's time for you to go back. Careful, okay? I'll be careful. See you tomorrow then. Hope to see you then. Sienna, the traveling little girl will still continue her journey. I hope you know the time we spend together means much more than what I can describe. I really wish I could stay with you a little longer. There was time I have to say goodbye. We were talking one day about whether you'd ever see the beauty the world has to offer. If you are reading this words right now, then you must have received my gift. Now, now it's, it's your, your turn, turn to see. see. It's your turn to discover signs even grander than the ones I've showed you in my stories. The future holds much more than you'll ever know. Take care.